Hey, this is your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle, and you are watching Top 10 Wrestling. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Hey guys, it's Thomas Thompson Wrestling. If my voice is off, it's because I just woke up from a quick nap, and I thought I'd make a video talking about this whole Undertaker thing, because I'm, I'm baffled, and I think... It's like there's a really obvious reason that he's returned that people are missing that I want to take a uh, time to talk about in this video today if you do enjoy smack that like button if you are new be sure to subscribe with post notifications on but nonetheless let's get right into the video so if you guys were watching raw tonight there was a handicap match with Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre and Shane McMahon obviously Shane and Drew against uh, Roman, obviously, this feud has been the most exciting feud in WWE history, and I'm sure you can all agree, sarcasm. But when Roman Reigns was being beaten down in this match after Shane and Drew had dominated him, the gong hit, the lights went out, and Undertaker came to Roman Reigns' rescue. He beat them down a bit. Him and Roman Reigns didn't interact at all. Uh, Shane and Drew retreated, and then about 30 minutes later, it was announced already for Extreme Rules, it's going to be Roman and Undertaker versus Shane and Drew. So, the match just announced with one, one segment of build, which is bloody brilliant. But I think it's very obvious why Undertaker has returned to WWE Raw, and it's not to help further the storyline with Roman and Shane. It's to pop ratings, it's to get ratings back up, because the Undertaker, the Undertaker draws. He's one of the biggest superstars in WWE history, in wrestling history. He's very identifiable, and... He's back for ratings. I can't see how no one else is really seeing that. Because if, it really makes no sense why he'd come out to save Roman Reigns. I mean, he's literally wrestled the Saudi Arabia shows the last two years, plus the match with John Cena. And that's pretty much all he's done for the last couple of years in terms of wrestling. And now he's all of a sudden back on TV, helping the guy who beat him at WrestleMania 33 who also said the next night on Raw after beating Taker that it's his yard now. So it really doesn't make that much sense why he'd come to the aid of Roman Reigns. And the fact that the match got announced so quickly after the segment happened just goes to show that they want the ratings up because they want to tell everyone, yep, Undertaker's appearing, the build to Extreme Rules, and to get Extreme Rules ticket sales by announcing that match in advance. In my personal opinion, I just don't think Undertaker should be getting back in the ring. I really, after the match with Goldberg especially, I don't think he should. And the incidents that have happened in the past, you know, him passing out and fainting after matches and getting injured and stuff. He's 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 very old. <laughs> there's, there's no way to sugarcoat it. He's very old, he's broken down, and I just don't think he should be getting back in the ring. Especially on the weekly television. He shouldn't be on the road, is what I'm trying to say here. I mean... He can wrestle those Saudi Arabian matches if he really wants to, get that cash, wrestle an easy match. But he shouldn't be on the road wrestling these work-rate guys such as Roman Reigns, Andrew McIntyre, and a spot monkey like Shane McMahon because they're going to be ahead of him. And that's the fact. And, and I, I know it's crazy to say, but they will be ahead of him in terms of the, the work rate in the ring. And he's might struggle keeping up and he could easily get hurt. And it scares me. I just don't think he should be back in the ring. But yeah guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it, smash that like button. Like I said, if you are new, be sure to subscribe for more WWE, AEW and wrestling content in general. With post notifications on because YouTube is being terrible as of late. Check out my latest video that I uploaded yesterday. And goodbye and keep on rolling.